Janet Letnus Martin and Al Todnam are authors of the Lutheran Church Basement Women. Yes, that's correct. People here in Minnesota know how to keep it brief. Um, thank you very much. I may be the first book award winner to do this, but thank you to my sheep. Tonight I considered myself just a hack journalist, and now I guess we'll award-winning literati. <laughs> you would think, uh, since I found out in January that I got the award, that I'd be all prepared with a speech, but I just wrote it now. <laughs> a little more prepared than Charles Baxter, but not much. Here's a little tiny poem of mine that uh, was written after an experience that I'm sure many of you writers, all of you writers have had, where someone takes some little something that you have written, takes it to heart, twirls it around and gets completely the wrong meaning from it. Stories do not only belong to those who've lived through them, they belong to those who share in them. I'm so proud to stand here today as a Minnesotan writer with the force of Minnesota behind me because in the last year I've discovered for a whole community that it is possible. Our daughter Carrie. For years, Carrie has opened my rejection letters as part of her after-school rituals. For the dozens or so people that came up to me to congratulate me for winning the Kay Sexton Award this evening. <laughs> Seriously, people, I, I know you like books, but pick up a newspaper every once in a while. It's okay. With this very select group of finalists in memoir and creative nonfiction, otherwise known as, but enough about me, what do you think about me, category. Have you any idea how exciting it is to get to my age and write your first book, and then to discover that wonderful staff at the Historical Society Press, and then to have you all make a fuss about me? <laughs> Poetry is kind of like the crazy aunt of the literary family. <clears throat> or the drunk, or depending on the family, coked out meth head uncle. My dad uh, wrote a hundred limericks once and hid them in my bedroom. And it made me think poetry may have some use. <laughs> I had to clean up the whole room to get to them. I got a letter a couple of weeks ago from a sixth grader who wrote in part, quote, I love your books. I talk about them all the time, but no one knows you. <laughs> I thought that was pretty accurate. I am the writer about whom Garrison Keillor once said, uh, my idea of death would be to be stuck in a cabin in the North Woods for two weeks with nothing to read but Paul Gruco's books. <laughs> People of the book, I salute you. What we have is literature. And is heavy enough to be a blunt instrument. <laughs> What's on television is really insane and it's gonna get worse. So the only thing you can do really is to learn how to write a poem, learn how to paint a painting, learn how to make some music, so you can bring your own madness up to meet the madness there. 
So the stanza says, the hermit says, because the world is mad, the only way through it is to learn the arts and double the madness. Are you listening? We are a city and a state that values literacy. We value our authors and we have to make sure that we honor them in the highest and best fashion. And I think we do that here tonight. I'm astonished and really happy to see this, this sizable turnout here. It's, it's just amazing. It proves what Jack Weatherford said. What a great place this is to write and to read. But that's the thing about Minnesota is you can think of yourself as a writer here. Certainly I could. I've been involved in literary communities for 25 years all over the country. and. Uh, I judged book awards in different states, and believe me, I've never seen anything as what I see in Minnesota. I am so proud to be from a state that honors, values, and supports its artists. I want you to know, George isn't off somewhere speaking to some august body. He's not at the movies. He's not watching TV, he doesn't own one. He's too damn nervous to come. <laughs> this award really means a lot to him. Of the making of books, there is no end from Ecclesiastes. All I can say is thank you very much. I needed it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.